Hello, let me share some things that worked for me as an educator. These are all spontaneous recordings, but I found these very useful and I want to share with you all, such as these dictionaries for my students when they don't know how to spell. If they cannot find the word, then they come to me and I write it down for them and it has been very helpful and their table partners can also help too if they know how to spell the words. Everyone, I just realized this is super useful and handy. I wish I've known this way sooner in my life as an educator, but I don't know if this also applies to all PDFs, but if you annotate, you know how like you make one copy and then you write down, write your name. Well, I realize I can do it here and then I'm still working on like writing it nicely for my kids. Ah, here, here we go. This is going to be a partner work activity. So I just write it down and then when I print it, it will have the actual like names on here, which is super exciting. I don't have to like go back and forth, write name, make another copy. I can just print a bunch of these in one go. Is this something new for you or is it just me? I taught a little bit of social studies about voting in ballots. I made a ballot where if they get five class cards, we will do one of the activities listed on the sheet. We learned everyone can vote once at this time and they can only choose one. In the end, arts and crafts won and we had to learn to be respectful of the outcome. Aside from social studies, we also learned how to be respectful and have good sportsmanship too in some ways. My class this year has a lot of social behavior problems and lots of conflicts and little problems occur. To an adult's eye, it's not bad and we're also teaching them how to solve smaller conflicts on their own. Anyways, we read how full is your bucket and they slowly understood where their level of water was at. However, we're learning how to fill other people's buckets when they're low too. So I reviewed this concept weekly and at the end of the week, they can write down a few drops to different classmates. I encourage them not to just give it to their friends, but also to those who they may not know very well. The most recent week after reviewing it again, the conflicts decreased and a few more students wrote to their classmates. It is autumn and fall and so I took out seasonal books that they will be able to read and enjoy for the next two months. I wish I had more seasonal books and I hope to collect more, but this is all I have at the moment. I think it's fun, we can have some read-alouds together based on the season, so yeah, I hope the kids will enjoy it. I personally love the Animal Arc series. I have different students in different spelling groups, so one of their activities is doing a word hunt and they will need to find those specific strategies. As you can see, it gets harder and harder, but it's differentiated and it's based on their group. I would have pre-taught and reviewed these strategies with them before letting them do it on their own.